Well, it's time to take a look at some of the top stories making country headlines this week. Yeah, that's my kind of night. Luke Bryan is once again set to co-host the 49th annual ACM Awards show with pal Blake Shelton on Sunday, April 6th in Las Vegas. And this year's race for new artist of the year is already heating up. Lee Bryce, Brett Eldridge, Tyler Farr, Justin Moore, Kit Moore, Casey Musgraves, Parma Lee, and Thomas Rhett have been officially announced as this year's top eight semifinalists in the category. The final three nominees are up to you, the fans, as well as voting members of the Academy. Voting is open now at GACTV.com slash ACM and VoteACM.com and will stay open until 3 p.m. Eastern on February 4th. Once the three nominees have been selected, they will appear on a GAC special premiering March 24th when round two of voting will begin with the overall winner being announced April 6th during the ACM Awards broadcast on CBS. Good luck to all of this year's semifinalists. Oh, you make me wanna roll my windows down and cruise. That's New artists can quickly turn into country superstars. Florida Georgia Line is a good example. They're making history just one year after taking home the trophy for ACM New Artist in 2013. In this brand new with a lift kit, we look a hell of a lot better with you up in there. Oh. So just how popular is it? Cruz has gone down in history as the most digitally downloaded song in country music, 6.6 .6 million to be exact. One of many accolades for the track. At 24 weeks in the top spot, Cruz is also the longest running number one song in Billboard Hot Country history. Oh, yeah. I drive my truck and drive. Well, Grammy winning trio Rascal Flats are hitting the pavement hard in the upcoming months with some new and very different material. They chose a top secret member only coffee shop in Music City to make the big announcement. How'd we get in? I have no idea. I'm That's not amazing. a member either. John Rich. Maybe they don't know oh, we're John here. Rich. John Rich had it. Right. Our new single is called Rewind, and uh, real excited about it. We're so good. We're so right. This is one night. I'm wishing I could rewind. I mean, we just got everything going on. New album comes out in June, and um, the tour starts, and so we got a busy, busy year planned. We're also going on our first ever uh, and 13 years radio tour to just sort of say thank you first of all and to let everyone know how excited we are about the new music and the new single. Be sure to request Rewind at Country Radio now. Winter tour season is well underway, and Craig Morgan is out on a big journey of his own. The country music star hit the road this week for the first leg of his Craig Morgan The Journey Tour. 40 shows are being scheduled, which will feature country singer and founding member of Halfway to Hazard, Chad Warwick. He'll be warming up the crowd. Visit HeadlineCountry.com for a complete list of dates. You know, she started moving around a little bit, and, and I, I thought to myself, you know, I can't recall a time that my wife has ever really danced anything I've done, so uh, <laughs> this may be a good sign. David Nail's new album got his wife's stamp of approval. Will it get yours? Less Tear Jerkers is the theme for his third studio project, I'm a Fire. David says the album is more upbeat than anything he's ever done, and inspired by one of his country music role models. One of the people that I always look up to is, is Tim McGraw, and, and how every album seemed to kind of have some new styles to it and a little bit of a new direction and uh, that's what we've tried to do now. She got the blue jeans painted on tight that everybody wants on a Saturday night. She the lead single, Whatever She's Got, is in the top 10 on country charts and climbing. The album will have 11 tracks. One of them will feature former tour mates Little Big Town singing harmonies on a song called Kiss You Tonight. I'm a Fire will hit stores March 4th. Yeah, I want whatever she Still to come, nothing warms up a cold winter like a hot trip to the Bahamas with a bunch of fun-loving singer-songwriters.
Welcome back to Headline Country. Now, for a lot of people, this winter has been especially rough, from record-breaking cold to blinding blizzards. Yeah, I don't like it. Single digits here in Nashville. A couple of frozen pipes. I even had to pull up two puppies the other <laughs> night. It was so cold. Extra blankets, and that's exactly why the brilliant people at BMI Music Licensing chose this time of year to get away from the cold and head down to the Bahamas. Oh, poor guys. For a little cultural and musical exchange. This time, John Party and American Idol veteran Cree Harrison were among a whole bunch of singer-songwriters who got a nice old winter tan. So tell me, how was it? I didn't go. I couldn't make it this year. I thought you went. No, unfortunately, I hadn't started this gig yet. So that one was all on an associate producer, Mary. We scammed her into going on this trip. Mary Carlisle, great. Mm -hmm. This should be interesting. <laughs> Stormy, I am so sorry you could not make it to the Bahamas for the Hopetown Music Fest, where the top hit makers in the business are showing the islands what country music is all about. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Man, I'm getting a suntan as we speak. If you're not having a good time here, you have a problem. Oh, girl, every now and then you get a night like this. Oh. We're bringing Nashville to the Bahamas. Do you think the Bahamas are enjoying it? Well, uh, judging by the crowds, I would say yes. I mean, we've had really great crowds at all four of the shows that we've had. And last night, you know, we just kept going for another hour after we were supposed to shut down. So I, I think everybody's enjoying it. We love it. We hate it. We're all still trying to make it in this crazy time. Tommy, what exactly does the funds that are raised tonight go toward? It goes to two of our um, major organizations. One is ECC, which is Every Child Counts, which is a school in Marsh Harbor for our special needs kids. We're trying to also raise money for the volunteer fire department. A bunch of songwriters get together and come to a fun place and, and raise money for the, the island, kind of give back. It's a really good deal. Give me that girl with the hair and a sleepy little smile with the head on my chest. We think of Nashville as a small town. What is there? I don't know, 700 people on this island. I mean, you really feel the, the community here. And I think um, we've I, met them all, have we? I think we have. Lie, you got it all figured out. That smile. It's just a shame that none of the like the top songwriters could be here. We played last night, and I'm like, God, oh, these guys own half the radio. Baby, you can crash my party anytime. It's been fun, I think, for all the local people who uh, know country music, but they don't necessarily understand. The songwriters write a lot of the songs, and they're getting to hear us perform them uh, the way that we do them, and that's, that's a pretty cool thing for some people that have not been that familiar with how the industry works. We should drink on it, put our heads together and think on it. It's really hard work, but is it a little bit of fun to you? It's all work. It's, our, it's suffering, suffering in the name of music. So this has just been an absolutely miserable time. I mean, as you guys can see, we're dealing with a lot of, a lot of things right now, and the, you know, the waves and the beautiful breeze and the sun in the sky. I just wish this had been a little more thought out location-wise. It's a shame, really. I mean, look out here. Ugh, Awful. So boring. I'm yes. bored. Party, yeah, came looking for. We have Bahamians here, foreigners here, locals here, and it's just a great, great event for the whole island. It only makes sense to do what you love in the prettiest place in the world, right? That's it. That's it. It's the only way to do it. I'm so happy to be here. I can't believe they asked me to do it. I'll do it every year. Did life get any better? No. No. Life is, life is good. Cheers to y'all. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you all so Bye much. Party. Thank you guys. You guys are the best. Christmas yeah. Stefano. That looked like way too much fun. <laughs> Mary Carlisle, you did a great job. Thanks for taking one for the team. Yeah, rough gig, huh? Knock it off, Lindsey Vaughn. You're going to Crested Butte, Colorado to hit the slopes in a week. I don't yeah. want to hear about it. That is right. Good point. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep up with everything going on in country at HeadlineCountry.com, GACTV.com. And also, you can check us out on social media, Facebook and Twitter. Take care, everybody. When you love me and you didn't have to try.